Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another Choco King review, this time for Bandai's Metal Build Freedom Gundam! Yes, uh, I've got this piece in my hand and I, can, I can't tell you how happy I am that Bandai released uh, Freedom Gundam because Freedom Gundam is one of my favorite Gundams of all time favorite Gundam. So this guy, he's really really heavy, I, he packs a lot of die cast, not obviously obvious on the outside but mainly in the internal skeleton and such. And uh, I'll just go through what I can see are uh, the die cast content. Uh, first, let me just take out the wing part, the backpack, okay. Okay, so basically for the wing, this whole giant backpack, okay, this this black piece here, uh, I believe is die cast. Yeah, this piece is die cast with some plastic uh, there. About so this piece is die cast, but this piece is plastic uh, at the back is plastic. So this 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 piece, okay, that forms the frame is plastic. Oh, sorry, it's die cast, but the parts that covers it are plastic and internally. Some of the uh, joints that hold the wings together are die cast and I'm sure that this joint over here is die cast as well. Alright, let me just take the wings apart but first thing I'm just show you, tell you that the wings have a very nice metallic shade of blue. It's really really very nice. Look at it under the light. It's really awesome. Look at it. A color change under the light. It's really really nice. The gloss, the finishing is absolutely stunning. Alright. And uh, here to Freedom Gundam, all right. Uh, before the review, I actually put the gun at the back. So you actually put the gun. Okay, you can actually put the gun as a tab, right over here to slot it at the back. But I'm gonna take it down, take it out right now. Uh, likewise for the shield, there is a pack for you to put it either here or the other side. Okay, whichever you prefer. All right, but that's a uh, that's secondary. And I must say, the details of the shield are really really uh, awesome she itself the details are very nice <coughs> it's really really very nice so you're gonna put the shield on the right hand just switch this over right just uh, put this aside as well die cost content of freedom gundam alright the in his internal body okay the joints for the shoulders are die cast and inside here okay the internal frame okay metal frame is die cast and we have over here at the uh, shoulder joints right inside the shoulder joints over here okay they are die cast the elbows okay are die cast as well the back elbow and this main elbow part is die cast and uh, let me see okay I think that's all to the die cast of the hand uh, moving down okay we see the waist the waist it's a whole piece of die cast, the groin, waist area is die cast, the thigh, this area of thigh joint uh, against the hip is die cast. The front part here, this white part is die cast, the side plates are actually plastic. The knee over here is die cast. Moving down here, this side plates are plastic, this is plastic. At the back, this this back piece over here, white piece is uh, die cast. Inside here we have another die cast uh, piece. Toes wise, we have a die cast. <coughs> at the back and uh, internally and uh, let me see this kind of gauge and I tell you this is plastic so yeah that's the amount of die cast it has so this is yeah he's really really heavy he's really really heavy and it stands really really well and in terms of articulation he has a neck movement that allows uh, Freedom Gunner to move his head front and back you can turn his head 360 all right in terms of the uh, shoulders okay it's a very very innovative uh, very different sort of um, articulation you can't move this whole, this piece this shoulder pad uh, 360 you can move it here okay you can move it let's see how you can do it you can move it here this much okay and on top you can't really move it beyond so if you want to do poses with the hands with the arms okay what you do, you lift this shoulder pads up. This is a uh, quite innovative, and uh, okay, the arms, the side of the shoulders have this. You can move, so this is how much you can move. So this is a different way, and uh, of course the shoulders can actually move forward as well. So this is a very different way of, um, how I say, giving articulation to the robot. Something that I I never expect to see in this. Uh, figure, but uh, it works out pretty well. Seriously, it works out pretty well. Yeah. 
in this uh, amount of articulation you have so wonderful so even though you see the shoulder pads are there it doesn't it doesn't block Freedom Gundam from having a high hand pose you know the only thing is you just cannot do a 360 rotation for the arms and elbows wise it has full 360 rotation at the sorry at the arm side and double jointed elbows okay that allows you to do pose this much it's really great and even at the way uh, wrist See here, rotations, uh, wrist, rot uh, front, back, sorry, up, down motion for the wrist to give you more wrist articulation. So it's really, really great. And the joints, I can tell you, are really, really tight. So that's really good. For the torso, okay, we'll move it up and move it down. Uh, not much for sideways. Uh, I can turn it around, pretty much. Not 360, but pretty much. Uh, back skirt can lift it all the way up right you can lift it all the way up front skirt can lift it all the way up as well you can even split it out okay in case you need to make him bend down and do some poses um, legs wise like I said because of okay you can actually lift this up move up this much all right double jointed knees look at the motion for the knees it's really really awesome look at it it's really as good as a model kit see See, the kneecap actually moves moves together with the the legs. So it's really, really cool. It's a very really nice feature. And look at the articulation it has. Really cool. This is how much you can stretch the back. And of course, there's uh, this part here that allows you to show uh, more of the booster, the, thrust, the leg thrusters. Knees. Oh, sorry, ankles. You can move this much, this much. It's really a lot of articulation, I tell you, this piece. Uh, in terms of the sides, he can actually move out quite a fair bit. Okay, all you need to do is to get the uh, side skirt out of the way and you can move quite a fair bit towards the side. And of course, you can rotate this at the thigh. So really, really, there's a lot of articulation for this piece. Simply awesome. Alright, let me just put him down first. Okay. Okay, get him well balanced. <coughs> Oops, it's part of my cough. I'm actually doing this review in the middle of a cough. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the Gundam aside. I'm gonna go through his wings, his wonderful pair of wings. All right, so his wonderful pair of wings. You can actually move them this way. Okay, you can actually rotate them freely. Okay. And the wings, uh, actually, you can actually hold the gun well because there are tabs to hold the guns together. So what you need to do is just release the tabs, and you can unleash the wings. All right, you can unleash the wings however you want it. Okay, let me just unleash one side of the wings just to show you that wingspan. Okay, it's really wonderful. Each wing has this uh, joint, and you can actually move them up this much. It's really a lot, a lot of motion. See, there's really like no restriction to how you can move the wings. It's really cool, really awesome. Okay, how does we how do we portray this nicely? Um, let me see. Yeah. So this is really really awesome. So, okay, I'm just gonna put these wings back first. Okay, and show you this is if I were to move the wings together. This is how much you can move and you can move this all the way to the, to the top move this down it's really really cool really 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 cool and because I'll fix the wings uh, on Freedom Gundam the backpack okay fits into the back really easily just need to angle it properly alright I need to find the correct angle and there he goes in really really easily and almost effortlessly okay and uh, you would worry the wings are back heavy actually they are really not Freedom Gundam really stands pretty well on its own over here. So um, some poses you would like to do with Freedom Gundam probably to spread his wings up, you know, his typical trademark poses of having his wings all the way up. <coughs> and of course the, his cannons. Okay, gotta lift them all the way up over here. Okay, and instruction says all the way to the Okay, let me just put the backpack back first. I gotta be careful with the head though. 
Yeah, because the, there's unlike um, the um, other Gundams, I, this doesn't come with an extra hit crest. So if you were to break it, uh, that's it for you. So I'm really, really careful with this. I'm just going to take a look at instructions to see how I'm going to move the um, cannon such that they are way down the side nicely. Just give me a minute. Okay, how do I actually manipulate the cannons? Okay, I gotta lift this probably all the way up. Furthermore, no, probably not so high up. Probably here, somewhere around here, yes. Ah, uh, okay, shows quite nicely now. And then I'll probably do the same for the other side. So we're just gonna unpack them first. Look at this Freedom Gundam. Cool. I'm gonna move this up. Okay. Twist this down. Okay. Gonna make sure. Okay. I'm really just being very, very careful because I I just don't wish them to like destroy my my crust. I've only had one of it. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out first. Just on the safe side. Okay. Hmm. It does seem a little difficult. If I were to just uh Hmm, struggling a little bit with the wings. It's not about the toy noise, it's just about me. It's my bad. Toy is great. Honestly, the toy is great. It's just me. Wonder why I'm struggling with the wings. I should be having the front wings at the front. Okay, and this probably looks something like this. Okay, and no, I can't put them too close together. There isn't any allowance for Freedom Gundam. Probably. Hmm. Probably gonna look like this. Hmm, strange. No, I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the instructions again on how to make the wings look nice. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the box art. Uh, just take a look at the box art. Let's see how Freedom spreads his wings out. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, probably. Hmm. Maybe I should spread the cannons out Why? <coughs> okay Seems weird, 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 weird Okay Let me just try it this way Okay, I'm gonna put the cannons this way And... Hmm They're just too tall Okay I should fit the backpack first Okay, I fitted the backpack. Okay, now here are the wings spread out. Oh, okay. I think this is how probably it looks. Yep. Okay. So this is how it looks uh, based on the instructions. Uh, I'm not supposed to have the um, the wings too low, so I'm supposed to have them a uh, slightly high. All right. Slightly high to give it allowance. All right. So that Freedom Gun actually has the cannons above his head Rather than it's like, okay, so the cannons are supposed to be above his head They're not supposed to be um, by the sides of the shoulders Okay, it's my bad I had tried to uh, move the cannons such that they are by the sides of his 
by his uh, sides, shoulder sides, which isn't supposed to be the case. So this is how it should look like. Somewhat rather and wow. Okay, look at this. Okay, I'm just going to uh, move the camera back a little bit so you can see the wingspan. The wingspan is really awesome. It's really, really, really awesome. Just show the wingspan. Wow, wow, wow. This is how awesome the wingspan looks with the cannons at the sides. And see? It's really, really, really cool. Look at it from the back. Wow. This is plain awesome. It's really, really plain awesome. Wow. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Okay, this is really cool. And um, there's another way to show the cannons, which is like the folding the wings back and the cannons front. Uh, I'm not going to show it over here. I'm just going to keep it this way because it just looks, looks way too cool. And uh, what I'm going to do right now um, is to swap the hands to hold a gun. So it comes with uh, several pairs of hands. All right. Four pairs of additional hands, and I'm um, just gonna hold this to hold a gun. The hands are made of soft rubber, so it really, really fits in very, very nicely. Okay, and all you need to do pluck out the fist, which comes out easily, and uh, pluck it in. All right, easily as well, and you can actually pose. Freedom Gundam. Really, really cool. And uh, comes with these two lightsabers. Okay, beam sabers rather. Uh, fitting them in is easy. Just to fit them in is a catch, and to get them out is just uh, likewise easy. Just to get them out of the catch, right? Just just uh, move them slightly and to get out of the catch. See, likewise. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it here first. Okay, if I need freedom to stand. Oops. Okay, good. So this two sabers is actually a catch over here that you join these two together. All right. Okay. Sweaty palms again. I'm gonna do it off the camera. Combine these two pieces. Ta-da! Okay, I got them combined. I'm gonna give him a uh, first. Yes. Hold it, okay, on his uh, right hand. Got to kind of swap the fist. Okay, put it over here. Okay, and then I have my two beam sabers. Where are my beam sabers? Beam sabers, beam sabers. Where have I put you? Huh, I thought they were. Oh, yeah, they are here. So here's my beam sabers. Okay, okay, my freedom gun is getting a little bit uh, wobbly. Just gotta slot them in. Hmm, it's a specific pack, I think. Slot them in. Okay, it's really tough. Well, couldn't slot in my beam sabers. Hmm, this is weird. Okay. For the record, okay, I am just, this is the first time I'm slotting the beam saber, so I just have to make sure that they are getting in properly. Okay, probably need to um, push them in a little bit. Okay, cool. Got one of them in. Uh, doing this off camera. Okay, looks like it's not easy to actually um, push in the beam sabers this time. Uh, I guess maybe they made the the hole a little bit too too small yeah seems to be the case I mean the hole a little bit too small I'm having a little problem to uh, slot in the beam saber for one of them okay and I'm having problems pulling out the beam saber wow yep seems to be the case that really the beam sabers are no th I think one of the QC problems is that the the beam sabers, okay. The holes are a little bit too small for for the pink ones. So I'm having some problems pushing them in. Uh, feels like a horror story trying to push it in. Seriously, yeah, feels like a horror story. One day if I 
break anything which I, which I hope I don't but oh, okay let me just try again off screen okay I got it in for one hand one sorry one saber and I got in for the other saber ta -da! Uh, a bit breathtaking to be honest ah uh, well let me just see if I can just slot them in like this okay I think I can uh, I just need to open out the first to kill it in okay so now I've got the beam saber in wow this is cool oh and um, one more feature double guns yeah I think this is freedom with his double gun so it's like here showing freedom wow 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 and it's a uh, maximum blast power yep this is freedom Whew, really really cool this guy is really 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 awesome and uh, just to do a quick size comparison this is Freedom versus uh, Metal Build Unicorn Gundam. Basically, Unicorn is just a lot taller. He's not really a lot bigger. He's just a lot taller than than Freedom Gundam. But you know what? Both of them are awesome pieces, and I know Unicorn Gundam costs a bomb right now. So off the screen you go. So this is uh, Freedom Gundam. He's really, really a very awesome piece. Stands very well. Comes with an awesome stand, which I am not featuring in this video. Get this piece. You know, I know there's a lot of QC errors, uh, problems going around about the face, about the paint. But you know what? I, I've got this piece. It's got some paint smudge, you know, some minor paint issues. But you know, that's, that's really minor. I'm just glad I have a very nice face for my Freedom Gundam. So this really looks very, very fantastic. You know, get this guy, he's really worth the money. Get him before prices skyrocket like the Metal Butte Unicorn Gundam. So here's Charles signing off with yet another Choco Cream review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time. Okay, I think that's all to the decals of the hand. Uh, moving down, okay, we see the waist. The waist is a whole piece of die cast, the groin, waist area is die cast, the thigh, this area of tie joint uh, against the hip is die cast. The front part here, this white part is die cast, the side plates are actually plastic. The knee over here is die cast. Moving down here, this side plates are plastic, this is plastic. At the back, this, this back piece over here, white piece is uh, die cast. Inside here we have another die cast uh, piece. Toes wise, we have a die cast <coughs> at the back and uh, internally, and <coughs> it's really, really, very really nice. So you're gonna put the shield on the right hand. Just switch this over, right? Just uh, put this aside as well. Die cast content of Freedom Gundam. All right. The in its internal body, okay. The joints for the shoulders are die cast, and inside here, okay. The internal frame. Okay, metal frame is die cast and we have over here at the uh, shoulder joints right inside the shoulder joints over here okay they are die cast the elbows okay are die cast as well the back elbow and this main elbow part is die cast uh, and uh, let me see backpack okay this met this black piece here uh, I believe is die cast yeah this piece is die cast with some plastic uh, there about so this piece is die cast but this piece is plastic uh, at the back is plastic so this 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 piece okay that forms a frame is plastic oh, sorry it's die cast but the parts that covers it are plastic and internally some of the uh, joints that hold the wings together are die cast and I'm sure that this joint over here is die cast as well alright let me just take the wings apart but first thing I just show you, tell you that the wings have a very nice metallic shade of blue it's really really very nice look at it under the light it's really awesome look at it a color change under the light it's really really nice the gloss the finishing is absolutely stunning alright and uh, here to Freedom Gundam alright uh, before the review, I actually put the gun at the back. So you actually put the gun. Okay, you can actually put the gun as a tap, right over here to slot it at the back. But I'm gonna take it down, take it out right now. Uh, likewise for the shoe. 
there is a peg for you to put it either here or the other side okay whichever you prefer all right but that's a that's secondary and i must say the details of the shoe are really really uh awesome the shoe itself the details are very nice hello everybody this is charles and back with another choco king review this time for bandai's metal build freedom gundam yes uh i've got this piece in my hand and i, can, I can't tell you how happy i am that bandai released a uh, freedom gundam because freedom gundam is one of my favorite gundams of all time favorite gundam so this guy he's really really heavy I, he packs a lot of die cast not obviously obvious on the outside but mainly in the internal skeleton and such and uh i'll just go through what i can see are uh, the die cast content uh first let me just take out the wing part the backpack okay Okay, so basically for the wing, this whole giant 